Hey guys, how are you? Welcome in. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. So I haven't done this in about a week, so this is going to be interesting to see what comes through for you guys. But if this resonates, fantastic. If it doesn't, then it's not your story, so don't mm -hmm. take it in. So, all right. What is going on with your person? One sec, guys, sorry. Okay. What is going on with your person as a collective message? So that's what this video is going to be about. So it's um, a collective message. So one of the first cards that came through for this, what's going on with your person right now? I'm honestly going to say as a collective message that your person what's on their mind right now i definitely feel like they're reaching out to their friends and family about you they're having conversations about what to do like i've been telling you guys for the past couple weeks since i've really been diving into more of the love stuff as i know you guys love the love on my channel <laughs> is that this person's mind tells them one thing but their heart is extremely telling them another it's like no matter what i feel like this person can disconnect from you and i feel like they're trying to figure out what this all means to them right now but I would definitely say for whoever this is resonating for, or if this, if this, you know, speaks to your soul or speaks to you, is that this person is getting advice, you know, I feel like whoever they're talking to is really kind of putting it out there that, you know, sometimes it's about taking that risk and taking that chance and doing what makes you happy. And I feel like this person is just, you know, leaning on the people that they may trust um, to make this decision. The other card that came through is saying, you know, ma music makes me think of you. I feel like when they hear a certain song, when they when they hear a song, like it automatically makes them think of you. And I feel like this is what I'm saying. When I feel like this person is seeing a lot of synchronicities about you right now, they're seeing signs, whether it's like they're seeing you and other people, mm -hmm. whether they're seeing music, whether they're seeing a, like a movie or a TV show, whatever the case is, it's like, Spirit is not letting this person get away from you, right? They're constantly being reminded on you. Yeah, they're constantly being reminded of you. And it's 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 one of those things where it's like, why can't I get away from this person? Why is this person constantly on my mind, in my, in my heart, right? Maybe it's one of those things where like this person has never experienced something like that to this degree because I feel like, they're constantly being reminded of you. What else is on this person's mind as a collective message, please? What else is on the person's mind as a collective message? What else is on this person's mind as a collective message? What else is on this person's mind as a collective message, please, Spirit? Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. Thank you again for checking out my channel. They're trying to stay positive about this connection. They are very optimistic as well. So they are very open to the idea of, you know, having a relationship or having a connection with you. So I think that you need to know that today where I feel like this person is, you know, they view you as being a very positive person, someone who it's like when they're around you, it just feels really good. Like they like your vibe. They like your energy. And I feel like they're trying to stay really positive about the situation. Like they feel like, you know, like they just have good energy with you, good vibes with you. What is this person on this person's mind as a collective message? What is this person currently feeling, please? I am staying away because of ego and anxiety. I can't bear to see the pain that I caused you. For some of you, this could be a past person, an ex, or someone that you recently dealt with where I feel like this person is coming from a place right now of ego and anxiety. They don't like the idea of hurting you. They don't like the idea of making you cry or just like the thought of you being sad really kind of eats at this person because I do feel like even though they may not have, they may not have ever said it, it's that feeling of like, I have real feelings here. I have something that's developing. 
So sometimes I feel like this person feels like they need to stay away so that they don't cause you any more pain or hurts. Because I feel like that's the last thing they want to do at the end of the day is cause you any pain. What else can I say about this person, please? What else can I say about this person? What else can I say about this? They have a lot of passion for you, though. Like, it's that feeling of, like, I like being near you. I like kissing you. I like touching you. I like, you know, I have this, this these feelings for you that I can't explain. I have this passion for you that I can't explain. You know, my heart is, is starting to do things. My heart is starting to, like, be close to you. But, yeah, like, this person generally, like, really likes being near you. I feel like that may scare them too on some level like just how much and shut it shut oh my god i can't speak how much in such a short period of time that they're feeling what they're feeling for you right i can't let go of you i'm reminded of you daily oh spirit come through thank you why did i tell you guys i just said that this person no matter what no matter if it's music no matter if it's food no matter if it's other people this person could be seeing you and other people and it's just it's mind blowing to them because it's like, this has never happened to them. They've never been in this type of like experience before. It's like, oh my God, like I'm remind, why am I reminded of this woman or this man, whatever the case is, take it on whatever side. But it's like, I know for me too, in my own personal, you know, there's been numbers that are coming through and it's like, as soon as I see this particular number, which is 911, I'm reminded of someone. And now I'm seeing that number all of the time everywhere. Right. So it's like, what, what is the universe trying to tell me? And I feel like that's what this person's like going through right now. Like what, what is the universe trying to tell me here? Why am I being reminded of this person? Why do I have so much passion for this person? Why do I have so much going on? And I feel like that's kind of not so much that it's stressing this person out, but more so like, what the heck is going on here? You know what I mean? Like what is going on here? Ooh, okay, spirit's really coming through. Yeah, they the past life relationship is coming up again. I think it came up last week too, where I felt like this person just feels like they've known you. They've known you forever. They feel very comfortable with you. They feel very connected to you. And it's like something that they've never experienced, but it's like they they feel like home with you. I don't know how else to explain what I'm feeling, but it's like this home feeling, this you know, being home, this being secure, this being protected, like I can be myself with you. I can let down my walls. So very beautiful message. I'm sorry, I broke your heart. This person, you know, whatever is really happening between you guys, I definitely feel like they the last thing they ever wanted to do was break your heart. The last thing they ever wanted to do was hurt you. So I feel like you need to hear that today. That you know, they never they never wanted to hurt you. They never wanted to break your heart. You know, and I feel like they're definitely reflecting on on that. Wow, this is a very beautiful reading. Like, I just feel like whoever needs to hear this, you're going to hear this for a reason. They want to go away with you. They want to take a trip with you. They want to spend time and disconnect the world. This person may want to get off social media altogether. I mean, there's a wedding dress and a, uh, a tuxedo up here. So this person could see you as marriage material. But I would say they definitely want to go away and spend some quality alone time with you. Really get to like dive deeper and know you i miss holding you oh my god yes spirit come through hallelujah yes that's what i'm talking about guys this person is just in all of you like they fucking adore you it feels so good to be with you it feels so good to hold you it feels so good to kiss you it feels it feels right i don't know what else to say like this person's just like they're mesmerized by you. They're how does this one person make me feel all of these things? And we've never dated. We've like, it just feels like either this person came out of nowhere or this person obviously was guided towards you, but it was like, they may have saw you. You may know this person for years. And then out of nowhere, this person starts becoming something that, you know, you can never walk away from, but they miss holding you. What else can I say for the collective? What else does the collective need to know about how their person is feeling? Some of you, this is a new love. Some of you, this is a new love. Some of you are about to either meet someone or there's someone like a new love energy fielding around you. And this new love is maybe something you've been calling in. Maybe you've been asking for this type of relationship, this type of passion, this type of 
intimacy, this type of emotion. And it's like spirits just coming through and saying like, you're feeling this way. You're feeling all of these romantic feelings because this is what you asked for. There might be something significant with the number 1414 for you guys. So check that. Um, I've been seeing all these like random, random numbers. Let me see what it says. Cause now I'm curious. Um, the angel number 1414 says your angels want you to keep a positive attitude and stay centered on your goals. Building a strong foundation and letting positive energy surround you can lead you away from difficult times and take you on a spiritual journey filled with abundance and beautiful prosperity. Oh, very beautiful. So some of you need to keep, you need to keep a positive attitude and stay centered and focus on you. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it's a reminder to believe in yourself. Have confidence and faith in yourself. But um, yeah, for some of you, like this new love is 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 exactly what you've been asking the universe for. I still care about you. For some of you, this person may have come across like they don't care about you, or you know, I mean, it's possible there's an ex around you guys too who still cares about you, who still misses holding you who may be coming back with an apology because they realize they can't really let you go, but they stay away because they know they've caused you pain and they're coming from a place of ego and anxiety. But again, this ex could, you, you know, music could be thinking of them, right? So, I mean, you could look this at different avenues, but if you do have a new love option and this is what I'm talking about, then yeah. What else can I tell the collective about the person on their mind, please, spirit? What else can I tell the collective? They want to come in and express their love towards you. They want to share how they're feeling. They want to share to you what's on their mind. You know, this person could be dealing with a lot of, like, anxiety, like the card said, a lot of fear. Maybe they want to make sure that they're ready for it. But I feel like they're coming in with that romantic gesture. So it could be something as how they're expressing themselves towards you as a gift. Um, date nights, stuff like that. I don't know why I did what I did, but I'm in my head. I feel like this person may have did or said something and now they're in their head about that. What else is on this person's mind that they need to share? But I definitely feel like they want to come forward and kind of open themselves up to you open themselves up to this connection more and more or it's like they are they are opening up to this connection more and more as time passes wow spirit definitely thank you for coming through for us today wow guys this person sees you as their soulmate whether or not they have told you that i'm gonna lay it out here and say that this person sees you as a soulmate and spirit is confirming that that this is your soulmate wow i'm lonely without you thinking hardcore in head this person is thinking hardcore about this connection they're thinking hardcore about this relationship yeah they're in their head but it's like they want to come forward they want to share with you what they need to share with you because you are their soulmate and they know that there's something here and this is why they can't walk away this is why they can't let go what else can i tell as a collective message please oh my god this person is gonna ask you to mirror them holy shit but I feel like th there could be a blockage of like someone needing to release something first in order for this connection to go off the ground. But I see marriage. I see that this could possibly turn into a marriage. Someone is literally coming through, whoever's on your mind. And it's like they want to ask you to marry them because they already know deep down that you are theirs, that there's no one else for them. And I feel like maybe this is one of those things where it's like, even though I know this is going to be my wife or my husband, take it however it resonates. It's still that kind of, you know, rejection, fear, you know, ego, you know, will she say yes? You know what I mean? There's all these thoughts going on with them. And maybe that's why they're talking to their friends and family about you. Maybe it's like, yo, like this, this woman's got my head all over the place. And I feel like this possibly is my soulmate. Like this is possibly someone that I could spend forever with. Oh my God. Will you be my boyfriend and girlfriend? For some of you, this person's coming through because they do want you as their girlfriend. They, they will be asking you that. You were always more important to me than I let on. This person's been more thinking logical than emotional. It's hard for them to express how they're truly feeling, maybe because of what they've been through, or maybe they're not just, you know, the type of person to come from a place of emotion, right? Maybe they're more like laid back. Everyone has a different love language, right? 
So, but wow, guys. Yeah, this is an awesome message. Like, I just feel like things are definitely going to shift with this person. And when it starts shifting, you're not going to be able to stop it. It's like when this person finally comes through and he's like, you know what? I need to do this. I need to like lock this down. I need to make this person my girlfriend or boyfriend. I need to propose. Like, I need to make this a commitment because this is my soulmate. This is my person. Maybe you go away. Maybe you guys take a trip together and this is when they propose. Maybe they propose around family. But, like, it just feels like once they come to this conclusion of releasing something from their energy that they no longer, no longer works for them, it's like they're coming through to tie you up because they know that this is where they want to be is with you. Oh, so beautiful, guys. I love it. <coughs> All right, if that resonated with you guys and you guys got something from that, let me know. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe, and I will see you guys again soon.